this is how you make a traditional beef wellington yes i did let it rest for a good 10 minutes first thing i did is started with salt pepper i'm going to sear that tenderloin on each side of the meat then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes but before we do we're going to cut it with some dijon mustard we're going to get some mushrooms put those in a food processor with salt pepper garlic and then we're going to add in some chestnuts for added flavor then we're going to cook the moisture out in a saute pan add some fresh thyme lay out some prosciutto that mushroom mixture that's got all of the moisture out then that cooled off tenderloin wrap it up in saran wrap or plastic wrap put it back in the fridge pull it out then we're going to wrap it in our pastry and i'm using a little water to seal the edges put that back in the fridge for another 20 minutes paint it with egg wash then we're going to fancy it up with a little chefy trick here then we're going to bake it off until the internal temperature reaches 125 and let it rest for a good 10 minutes.